Okay, so now we already have virtual environment installed and um, we are going to be adding a new project. We're going to be making a new virtual environment and then we're going to actually start building stuff for a Django project. So um, I'm in the root of the jmich folder or my user folder. So I'm going to change into the desktop. And of course, if you need reference as to where you are or what's in it, just do those two ls or pwd, command k to clear everything out. Um, and I'm going to do virtual env skillshare. Okay, so now that I have a virtual environment called skillshare, I'm going to move into that virtual environment and then I'm going to activate it with source bin slash activate on a Mac and then Windows users make sure that you're using your version of Activate. Um, and now that you're in your virtual environment, we can clear everything out. Everyone should now be virtually doing the exact same thing, same commands, all that stuff. So um, we're going to do the first one of pip freeze just to see what's in there. Of course, there is nothing. So we need to do pip install Django and I'm going to be using version 1.6.1 1 uh, for this tutorial series. Now, the reason we're using a virtual environment and the reason you, we're using 1.6.1 1. is so we can all do everything on the same page. And that's the primary reason for that. So don't get ahead of yourself. Use 1.6.1. 1. Otherwise, some of these videos might not make sense. So press enter. And it's going to install, uh, download, and then install. Uh, it does all this stuff automatically for us. You should remember this from last time. So we're gonna let it finish up. Okay, so now I have Django installed. So if I do pip freeze, I can see that Django's there. Of course, we need to make our first Django project. And to do that, we do django.admin.py start project. And I'm gonna call it MVP landing. All right, so if we list things out, we now see MVP landings in there. So we'll go CD into MVP landing. And we list things out. This is the basic folder file system that Django makes right off the bat is it's going to give us some of these files. Um, so a quick word on it, manage.py is basically to control different commands that Django executes for us. Um, so we don't really change that at all. Um, I recommend not doing it, especially as a beginner. If you're a very advanced Python person and you kind of pick up Django a lot, maybe then you would you could pick up or change manage.py. But even that might not be a good idea. So then we let's change into the other version of MVP landing and let's look at that stuff. We have an init.py. This basically is saying, hey, this folder or directory is a Python folder. So treat it as such. Settings, we'll be using that a, a number of times. URLs, we will also be using that. Um, this file, WSGI, we will not use a whole lot. Now, a couple things you might notice if we open up Skillshare. We have an MVP landing and then we have another MVP landing. So there's two of them there. Um, eventually we'll come back to that, but just keep that in mind that the project name and the root of the project is, uh, or the settings area where the project is, uh, will be similar or the exact same when you do Django admin.py. Now, of course we can change certain parts of that, but we won't do that quite yet. Okay. So now that we have this, we can go back into the root of the project, which is where manage.py is. I will talk about this a decent amount. The root of the project is always where manage.py is. So if we do Python manage.py and then we run the server and press enter, it's going to now give us this URL here. And of course, this is our development server, as in our local server. It's not live. It's not a production server. It's not, nobody else can reach this. As soon as we cancel it, we can't even reach it either. And I'll show you that in a second. So I opened up Google Chrome and I'm going to just paste that in here real quick. And congratulations, we have our first Django page. It's exactly what we wanted. Um, so that's good. Now let's move this out of the way. And to cancel this, it says Control C. That's how you cancel it. So if you hit Control C, it does that. And then let's try and go back to that domain name or that domain there. And it's gonna say cannot connect to that. That's because we canceled our server. So it's not actually working as a server, it's just emulating a server. Um, and that's that. Okay, cool. So 
The next thing is we just need to install a few more packages. So pip install south and we'll do Django dash registration and we'll also do Stripe. So these are three different Django installations that we'll be doing. Um, south and Django registration are very, very popular uh, Django packages or, and, and they really will help our development quite a bit. Uh, Stripe is a payment processor that's a Python package. It's very cool too. Um, and yeah, so go ahead and install those, press enter. If you notice that format, I, uh, I installed it. I installed three different packages by just spacing them out. So we could have put Django in here and then all this other stuff too, but I didn't want to get ahead of ourselves just quite yet. Uh, now that we have that installed, uh, we are ready to kind of set up our project. And uh, so we will do that in the next one. See you then.